today, talking about multiple universes has become commonplace. Can I ask you the question, how many universes are there? Well, of course, the word universe, I suppose properly, should mean the whole thing, everything. Uh, but reasonable question, is, is this... Is this just fiction, or could there really be multiple universes? The universe as we know it originated in a great explosion that we call the Big Bang. For nearly a century, cosmologists have been studying the aftermath of this explosion, how the universe expanded and cooled down, and how galaxies were gradually pulled together by gravity. The nature of the bang itself has come into focus only relatively recently. Look out at the universe all you want with arbitrarily powerful technology and you'll never find an edge. Space goes on as far as we can see, and everywhere we look we see the same things – matter and radiation. In all directions we find the same telltale signs of an expanding universe. The leftover radiation from a hot, dense state, galaxies that evolve in size, mass, and number, elements that change abundances as stars live and die. What lives beyond our observable universe? Is there just more universe like our own, out there past our observational limits? Or is there a multi-universe, mysterious in nature and forever unable to be seen? Before we begin, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. The universe expanding is the subject of the theory of inflation, which was developed in the early 1980s by Alan Guff, Andre Lindy, and others, and has led to a radically new global view of the universe. Inflation is a period of super-fast, accelerated expansion in early cosmic history. It's so fast that in a fraction of a second, a tiny subatomic speck of space is blown to dimensions much greater than the entire currently observable region. At the end of inflation, the energy that drove the expansion ignites a hot fireball of particles and radiation. This is what we call the Big Bang. The universe we live in may not be the only one out there. In fact, our universe could be just one of an infinite number of universes making up a multi-universe. From science fiction to science fact, there is a concept that suggests that there could be other universes besides our own, where all the choices you made in this life played out in alternate realities. The concept is known as a parallel universe and is a facet of the astronomical theory of the multiverse. Unless there's something seriously wrong with our understanding of the universe, the multiverse must be the answer. If we define universe as all there is or all that exists, then obviously, by definition, there can only be one universe. But if we define universe as all we can ever see, no matter how large our telescopes, or space-time regions that expand together, then many universes may indeed exist. There is nothing in science more awesome, more majestic. To discern the nature of ultimate reality, one must begin with the challenge of multiple universes. The multiverse idea has arisen in many versions, primarily in cosmology, quantum mechanics, and philosophy, and often asserts the actual physical existence of different potential configurations or histories of the known observable universe. The term multiverse was coined by American philosopher William James in 1895 to refer to the confusing moral meaning of natural phenomena and not to other possible universes. The multiverse is the idea that our universe universe and all that's contained within it is just one small part of a larger structure. This larger entity encapsulates our observable universe as a small part of a larger universe that extends beyond the limits of our observations. That entire structure, the observable universe, may itself be a part of a larger space-time that includes many other disconnected universes which may or may not be similar to the universe we inhabit. The latest piece of evidence that could favor a multiverse comes from the UK's Royal Astronomical Society. They recently published a study on the so-called cold spot. This is a particularly cool patch of space seen in the radiation produced by the formation of the universe more than 13 billion years ago. The cold spot was first glimpsed by NASA's WMAP satellite in 2004 and then confirmed by ESA's Planck mission in 2013. 
it is supremely puzzling. Most astronomers and cosmologists believe that it is highly unlikely to have been produced by the birth of the universe as it is mathematically difficult for the leading theory, which is called inflation. Cosmic inflation theorized in the early 1890s, it was designed to solve a number of puzzles with the Big Bang, but did what you'd hope for any new physical theory, it was measurable, testable predictions for observable signatures that would appear within our universe. Inflation is treated as a field, like the quanta we know of in the universe, obeying the rules of quantum field theory. In the quantum universe, there are many counterintuitive rules that are obeyed, but the most relevant one for our purposes is the rule governing quantum uncertainty. While we conventionally view uncertainty as mutually occurring between two variables, momentum and position, energy and time, angular momentum of mutually perpendicular directions, etc., there is also an inherent uncertainty in the value of a quantum field. As time marches forward, a field value that was definitive at an earlier time now has a less certain value, you can also ascribe probabilities to it. In other words, the value of a quantum field spreads out over time. This is the key point that tells us why a multiverse is inevitable. Where inflation ends right away, we get a hot big bang in a large universe where a small part of it might be similar to our own observable universe. But there are other regions outside of the region where it ends, where inflation continues for longer, where the quantum spreading occurs in just the right fashion. Inflation might end there too, giving rise to a hot big bang and an even larger universe where a small portion might be similar to our observable universe. But the other regions aren't still just inflating, they're also growing. You can calculate the rate at which the inflating regions grow and compare them to the rate at which new universes form and hot big bangs occur. In all cases where inflation gives you predictions that match the observed universe, we grow new universes and newly inflating regions faster than inflation can come to an end. There are at least five theories why a multiverse is possible. 1. Infinite Universes Scientists can't be sure that the shape of space-time is, but most likely it's flat, as opposed to spherical or even donut-shaped, and stretches out infinitely. But if space-time goes on forever, then it must start repeating at some point, because there are a finite number of ways particles can be arranged in space and time. So if you look far enough, you would encounter another version of you, in fact, infinite versions of you. Bubble Universes in addition to the multiple universes created by infinitely extending space-time, cosmologist Alexander Velenkin suggests that some pockets of space stop inflating, while other regions continue to inflate, thus giving rise to many isolated bubble universes. Daughter Universe or perhaps multiple universes can follow the theory of quantum mechanics, how subatomic particles behave, as part of the daughter universe theory. If you follow the laws of probability, it suggests that for every outcome that could come from one of your decisions, there would be a range of universes, each of which saw the outcome come to be. So in one universe, you took that job in China. In another, perhaps you were on your way and your plane landed somewhere different and you decided to stay, and so on. Mathematical Universes Another possible avenue is exploring mathematical universes which, simply put, explains that the structure of mathematics may change depending in which universe you reside. A mathematical structure is something that you can describe in a way that's completely independent of human baggage, said theory proposer Max Tegmark of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, as quoted in the 2012 article, I really believe that there is this universe out there that can exist independently of me that would continue to exist even if there were no humans. Parallel Universes and last but not least is the idea of parallel universes. Going back to the idea that space-time is flat, the number of possible particle configurations in multiple universes would be limited to 10 by 10 by 122 distinct possibilities to be exact. So with an infinite number of cosmic patches, the particle arrangements within them must repeat infinitely many times over. 
This means there are infinitely many parallel universes, cosmic patches exactly the same as ours, containing someone exactly like you, as well as patches that differ by just one particle position, patches that differ by two particle positions, and so on down to patches that are totally different from ours. The physicist's Stephen Hawking's last paper before his death also dealt with the multiverse. The paper was published in May 2018, just a few months after Hawking's demise. About the theory, he told Cambridge University in an interview published in the Washington Post, we are not down to a single unique universe, but our findings imply a significant reduction of the multiverse to a much smaller range of possible universes. In this physical universe, it's important to observe all that we can and to measure every bit of knowledge we can glean. Only from the full suite of data available can we hope to ever draw valid scientific conclusions about the nature of our universe. <laughs>